Good morning, traders. Welcome to the daily webinar. For new traders who will be watching this on YouTube, if you're seeing my video for the very first time, please go to my YouTube page and watch more videos before you make any decision on anything you want to do, right? Because you would, you might not understand the concept we're using, which is called wave analysis, derived from Elliott Wave, but something I've created specific rules for. So, and specific patterns the way we look at them. So if you don't get immediately what I do and what I say, please go watch more videos and you would learn. If you're absolutely new into trading, you might want to even get used to the terminologies we use. They're not new terminologies. Please mute your microphone. Okay, guys, sorry about that. The YouTube videos may want to know what that noise is. We are in our live in our trading room and there are about 15 people in the room with me right now, normally. Uh, you can get that amount of more at any one time we get that in the group and it's about some person accidentally coming with his microphone open so sorry about that let's go let's start we're in the uh let oh, let me do start with the cadian because i've been updating you guys with the cadian and we're looking for a cell setup in the cadian here right so what we're looking for a cell setup but we'll be careful when it breaks because the possibilities it can go back up here, not because it may go up or it may go down, but because we were looking for a possible expanding flat. That possibility exists because of many reasons in the chart that we can't go into details right now, but we will sell it because the bigger picture is downside. The only reason we're selling is because the bigger picture is downside. Now, if the bigger picture is downside, it does not mean it's going to go immediately. Right? It means it, it when this move is finished, when this up move is finished, that's when it's going to go. Right. So this up move could come here, go back one more, 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 but eventually it will break down. So every sell setup I get from the break of this stop, I've been selling. Every sell setup I get from the break of that top, I will sell. So if we get a sell setup today, we will take it. I took sell setups in here. And I took sell setups in here. I took sell setups in this one. I took sell setups, I think, in those two, this one, and we will take this. What if it goes up from this point up to the upside here? If you get a buy setup here, we might consider buying it to break this stop. That is if we get the buy setup. If we don't get the buy setup, we'll just let it go and I'll look for the sell again. So you will see, and if you're a new trader and you're not an experienced trader, you will see this pretty often. This will go here and then some guru will come and tell you, oh, I hope you got that trade. We bought here and it go there, right? Run very far. I'll tell you why. As it stands right here now, ask yourself the question, will you buy it? Ask that guru the question, will he buy it? And the answer is no, because he doesn't click trades. If you're clicking trade and you're clicking a buy here, you're setting yourself up for failure. Because this is very likely looking like a flat. And all flats like that do this if they come this way. If they go in there, they come out this way. If they come in this way, they will come out this way. So if you don't know that, you're setting yourself up for failure. Now, that doesn't mean it cannot go up. It probably could go up. It could do this, go, do this, go. If we see this flag or this flag, we can make an attempt to buy it with the expectation that it might not do this, but it might do this and then drop. And that is understanding wave analysis. That's how wave moves. It moves in waves, not in a straight line. So if you understand that, then you will know that hindsight buying is easy. Buying on the spot is much more difficult. So I just wanted to show you that trade because if it starts to go, I will make it the trade of the day for today. And I will update yesterday's days of trade. We didn't go. Let me do the update on the yesterday one. I'll update it in the column as well. This was what we were looking for. We're looking for the sell of this and the break. Oh, this would turn out to be a flag. As you see, this one actually went up. Now I explained that in the video. Now we're looking for a flat, which means it's going to come back here, which means the flat would be one, two, three. And that means we're going to make one more up this will become a flat for one more up. Then we're still anticipating that downside. That downside will come. Now, can we buy this? Can we buy this piece to the upside? If we get a setup at the bottom here, let me use a different color, yellow. If we get a setup here, when this comes down, if it goes up, give us a buy setup, we'll consider this buy because now we know we're gonna go break that top. 
this would be a buy setup for us. Buying here is not a buy setup. We saw the upside, but that's not a buy setup. Right? You're lucky. You're very lucky if you buy that and it goes there. Because the probability is it would stop there and drop. And I can show you about a thousand of those. So we're not going to go into that. Just to show you what it can do. So based on the method we're using, the analysis we're using, we would not buy that. But if it comes down here to go, now we will buy it because we have a complete pattern. So let's see what it's going to do today. And I'll update you. I'll update you whether we buy it. I'll ups, on This will all be in the comment section. So you will have to follow that chart and follow the comments. Now, somebody wrote me that you don't get notification when I make comments on that YouTube video. It's a small video. Here's my thing. If you want to follow it, follow it every now and then. Just open to see. I don't know if you can get notification. We'll have to check it. If not, we'll have to figure out a way where to post comments on that specific chart to you know, maybe move it to my Facebook page where you can get the notification when I make the comment. I somehow believe when I make, if you set notification to follow me, right, on the YouTube channel, which means everywhere I type something on YouTube, you will be notified by it. So you can probably do that. Follow the channel and then set your notification to everything I type. And that means when I make an update, you get the notification. I'll check that today if that is possible. I believe it is. So this is for this one. I will keep updating them. Not all the trades will go. Remember, these are longer term trades. If you look at the start of it, it's a longer term trade. So we're just waiting to get the best entry from it. Dollar index. Dollar index came down. We broke this low. So now we're going to make the assumption that once this breakout and you break the low, that the chances is every correction we get, we're going to sell. Because once we break that low, this could continue to go. We could always come back with whether this is a full correction or whether they're going to make a correction here and drop. Now, I don't think we will retest that top once we broke the low. There are rare possibilities for that. So we will look for sell setups here today, which means if we get a correction here, flag a correction or something, we would sell. And I think we're getting one right now with the possibility for a very small running flat. That means for this to come here, go back there and then drop. I'm looking at a small possible running flat there but it's downside. So we might be looking for sales. That means we'll be buying the silver as we bought yesterday. We bought this in the New York session, turned out to be a very good trade. We might get another buy, buy one here. It's consolidate some more here, we'll get another buy. It's going up, but it's still in a consolidation. There's a huge difference between this upside and the upside you're seeing on the dollar index. The dollar index is completing a, an impulse to complete the bigger structure. This one is completing an impulse within the correction of the bigger structure, right? So this would keep going up. It might even pull back deeper, go, 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 and then drop. The dollar index will go down fast, go down fast, go down fast, break the low and then reverse, right? So there are small buys here. You can focus on these. Uh, we, if we get another buy set up here, we'll take it. But any sell setup starting from this point here, any sell setup we get on silver, we'll take it. Now, let me explain that in little more details. If I get a buy set up here as a short term trade, I might take this. We took this because we wanted to break that top. Now that the top is broken, any buy here becomes very short term trade. I get in, get out as fast as I can with whatever profit I can take. Any sell setup will be a trade we'll take and we'll keep for a longer term to the downside. I showed you that structure and I think I can show it again. Sometime this would come here. You see, I have the arrow for breaking the top. Now we broke the top. Is it gonna fall today, tomorrow? I have no idea. We'll keep, an eyes, we'll keep our eyes open it. And we want it to drop to this level and then back up. So right now, let me go back to the one hour. And we're looking for the sell setup, short-term buy. If you get a buy short-term, take it, take profit. Gold is the same thing. We bought gold the day before. We go bought gold yesterday. And if we get another buy in the gold today, we'll take it. If gold starts to come down from this area, it will be a corrective structure. You can sell, but it will be corrective. So in the four hour, this is what we have. We broke the low. The option is you're going to go back up, make a new high, or we start to channel in this thing which means do this. And if they do this, they eventually will still break out. There is no sign that we are going down big time here as yet. 
that is possible, but we don't have that sinus yet, right? We can't say that this move is telling us that they're going down big time because it's an incomplete. But if they come down here and go back up and don't break out of this structure, the possibility for a drop as a running flat, as a big running flat here is very, very strong. So once we stay within this channel, we understand what pattern they're making. You can trade within the channel and wait for the breakout. If it break out to the top, it has to consolidate to confirm breaking this stop. That will confirm breaking out this stop, right? If they drop off the bottom, it will make correction. We're gonna to continue to go down much more. So you can put two arrows, one like this and one like that. Now, if you're able to read those arrows, you understand exactly what I meant, right? Consolidation here, we buy, drop out of the bottom, consolidation outside of it here, we sell. But within that range, we can buy and sell. We already did two trades within that range for the upside because it was at the bottom and we bought here and we bought yesterday here. So today we might get another buy. It might short be short-lived. If you get a buy here, this will be short-lived. If they drop some more and consolidate, we will definitely sell. Because you're at the top of that channel, you can go right back to the bottom of the channel. See, this could take you back to the bottom of the channel, which would be back breaking this low. Or you don't have to go exactly to the top, right? The line is irrelevant. The line is just a guidance as to the, this is what you're doing in terms of a structure, right? It can stop here and turn. They can go back a little higher, even break the line and then turn. It doesn't matter. So let's go. That is for silver euro. Euro we bought, I think I called a buy for you guys yesterday. I bought it, I closed it just for about four pips because it was still consolidating here and I had to go to sleep. I told my traders, those of you who will stay with it, wait for it to move away, break the top, put it to break even. If they did, they were still in the trade here. If they close the trade, no problem. It's not going anywhere much. You close for a couple pips and that's it. So the choice was yours, right? We knew it was gonna break the top. The question is, would you just leave it? And if I leave it to go to sleep and it breaks the top and then do this, I will be taken out of my stop loss, which is useless, right? So you close the trade, you walk away, and then you wait for the next setup. So what is the next setup? Well, let's see what happens at this point. If we get another consolidation here, we're buying again. If it is going to go down, then where is it going to? We know where the upside is for this, right? We know where this can go to the upside. It can come all the way to this, right? And if we assume that this was all the correction, and that could be all the correction, this one could continue to climb. So if we get buy setups, we'll continue to take them. If this is going to drop again, if it is going to drop, it could probably do this and still go back up. Can this become a bigger correction here, come back here and then go? Yes, but that is too early to decide because we don't have anything telling us that. It's possible, but there's no structure supporting that as yet. When structure starts to support that, that's when we will say, okay, guys, there is a change in the structure. So this is what we would do, right? Right now, it's more upside and you have buy setups right now because you're making consolidation. Probably more consolidation here. You get some more consolidation here and then you'll get a better trade setup. Tom, it was a running flat and if you bought it, you would either buy into this break or this break. It's You don't have anything. You can close it and look for this break. All right, that break is a better break. I think we had one of that earlier. Flag like that. When you get a flag like that, like this one. When you get those flags, they break better. You have a better risk to reward on them. You're getting another flag, that's more upside. These are all short-term trades, which means you better take profit out of them because if you don't, you will still get a surprise. Structurally, this does not change anything as yet. Structurally, this is still going up very slow. So at some point it has to either confirm the running flat and then go, or we have to make a bigger correction and then go. Only one out of those two will confirm longer term up, longer term upside. Right now, it's just going within this impulse that could end any time. Literally end any time. This might be the last impulse to the upside if you get it. So you have to be careful with that. Aussie, you can hold this for longer term. We know this is going up and this could go. We are in a daily uptrend and nothing is stopping that. You're getting some divergence, but you know that could change at any time. You're still going up, keep buying. This forecast was made way back. Go and look at the daily recording. The recording and the daily charts, long-term uh, 
I think it says long-term trades on Aussie pairs, something like that, right? We're, we broke out of this one and we are going to take this out, take this out. We just wanted to show the top. We broke the top, we're going, we could get anywhere to this 270. We already catch this 270, so more 270s to break and more to go. Look for flags, buy. Right. I think we might get a pullback here today. We could probably get another running flat here and you get another trade up. So look for that possibility. New Zealand. New Zealand, I'm not expecting to go quite a lot up right now because again, if it goes up, we would have to agree with two contracting flats in here. This one, sorry, this one and this one. And I don't see those two contracting flats possibilities. So I sold the New Zealand yesterday and I will take any sell on it. Turned out to break even trade. Right. I think we close it with two pips lost. This is coming down. I think this is coming down more as a running flat with this. So there's a chance you're going to make a new high and then downside. This will still go down because we still have open this. We still have this one open. And very often they come back and make that running flat one. Here, here's a good example. You get this sharp move down and then you get a move up. You get a correction. You get a deeper correction. You get a move up. You get a correction. You get a move up. And then you get that one. See? That's a running flat. Look at the mess in here. And then they took off. Pull back, give you another running flat here. And then take off. So right now we're in this running flat. See this one? We broke the top. So we've got this and we're doing this going up. At some point, they will have to do this and go. If they give us a flat here, you buy. If they give you a flat here, you buy. If they give you a flat here, by some point you get this and then you go. So every one of those buys, you know has to be short term. Because if you don't take your profit, this drop, this sudden drop is gonna kill you, right? If you were buying here on the break, sorry. If you were buying in the break of this, if you're buying this flag here, that flag and this flag and you were not taking profit, this is gonna bring you back right back to square one. So you know that there's a running flat coming. You will take your profit there. You'll take your profit there. You'll take break even on that one, right? You can do the same here. You'll take this profit. You'll take this profit. You'll take break even. You'll take that profit. You'll take break even, right? Whether you want to sell these, I don't know. Maybe we, we start selling from all of these to, go, to look for this one if you get sell setups. So we're in the similar structure. Can it go higher? Yes, sure. Do we have buy setups today? Yes, we have a buy setup. Yesterday, there was no buy setup. But today you have a buy setup. I think we can easily look at this as a possible running flat, which means it has to stop and go back up. What if they stop and they consolidate? Well, we're going to sell it. Very simple. So let's go. Swiss dropped really sharp you're getting the consolidation here now you see the line at the top there i want them to go back to that line and then we'll be looking for the sell setup go back to the top there give us a sell it could be more complicated than that but once we break that top we'll be looking for sell setups and the sell should bring us back to about this level so we're looking at this structure here this should probably consolidate some more here drop to this level now, it might not drop very fast. It might take its own time. This consolidation might go back like that. And if it goes like that, we'll only do this and go back up. So how this is going to change internally, if you were with me, remember this piece. Go back and watch that step by step every single day webinar. We actually give you every bits and piece of that trade. How it should go, what it's going to do. Watch the webinar starting from this date to this date if you haven't watched it. Those of you who watch it know how perfect that was. And we're doing exactly the same thing here. So right now this is consolidating. If it stays as a flag, we will sell. If it becomes a bigger consolidation, we will probably ignore it. If this becomes more like this, we will ignore it until we get the sell. And depending on how high it comes here, we might be going back up. See? So every bits and pieces, how this is going to develop, we will show you step by step. Right now, there's a sell setup. Would it manifest today? I don't know. Maybe there's no trade in it today. CAD. So CAD, the buy we had in the CAD, which is this buy. Some of my traders took that. They probably close it. I can tell you they probably close it here for profit because you can see they pull back and then it go. And then you realize it's not going to go because you're consolidating here. You get the hell out of it, right? Now we've got this and we are getting this. 
I think at some point we might break this low, but we're going to get a sharp one like that. And if we get this, we'll probably look for one more down. Right? So there will be a sell set up here. There might even be another buy set up here. Right now, there is a short term sell set up. And this becomes dangerous because you're selling within the running flat. So you could sell this and then right back up. So this sell here becomes a little dangerous, but there is a sell set up there. I would prefer if we don't get a sell there and this one actually just do this. I, I don't know if we'll get a flag, but if they do that, then, then we have a sell set up, but only from the top now. All right, we get a better entry point on that sell with more guarantee that the impulse coming will go. All right, that the next impulse is going to be good. Yen, okay, we might have complete this running flat. Keep your eyes on it. So remember again, when we get this, we are doing, right now there's about three of this going on and I'm telling you, we're gonna get this move down. Go back, watch the webinar while this was happening. Even if they break the top, they have to give you a move down like that. This arrow is actually a copy of this. When you get that, then you start looking for the buy. We start looking for the buy from here. Yesterday I bought that, that's a break even trade. We closed it for break even, probably three pips Boston. We close it for that because we realize this one is not taking off. When it starts to go, it will have to go very fast. If it doesn't go very fast, then they just make a new low, make a consolidation, make a new low. We're looking for buys today again. I'm making the assumption that that thing might finish and we're going to go up. So do we have any buy set up? Right now, no. All we have is a move up, right? See, this was a small sell set up, which, which I didn't sell and I wouldn't have advised anybody to sell because once they break that low, if you were in the sell, you got break even. By my rule, you should get break even, right? Now we will wait for this to make a flag, like when we got this flag to buy. Any small flag here would be a buy setup. Any small flag here would be a buy setup. Any small flag here would be a buy setup. And that buy will be a longer term buy, which means we're expecting it to break out of the structure. Is it going to break out of the structure? Well, I don't know. The crystal ball is not working, but the patterns are telling me it can break out. So if they don't break out, then I'll relook at the pattern that is made. And then I'll say, okay, well, we were forecasting this pattern, but instead we got this. And because we're getting this, we can go one more down. But we are forecasting this because we're making forecasts. We're making it before this happened, right? We're making a forecast before that happened. Now, can that happen? Yeah, well, I'll get out for break even again, just like this one, right? But I would trade all up trades. I would take all buy setups because the pattern we're looking at right now is telling us that probability of this thing going up is really, really high, right? And that is very important. Understanding what patterns and how they behave. Cadian, let's go. We sold this once, we, we didn't buy this because of the big one. And now we're looking at this and I explained, started with this with you guys telling you that, yeah, maybe they'll make a new high, but we might not get a buy setup. But if we do, we'll buy it. Most likely, if they start to fall, we will absolutely sell it. What if they make a new high? Well, no problem. You just don't have a buy setup as yet. Not even in a 15 minutes, you don't have a buy setup. All you have is one or two candles going up. You wanted to buy this here? Not a good idea. Not in the pattern we're looking at. If they make a flag after now, well, then if they make a flag now, we're anywhere within this piece here. That will give you risk to reward, which means you buy here, you put a stop here, and you get a reward to the 270 here. Then it's worth it. If we get that, if we don't get it, you shouldn't be buying it there. Because if you take 100 trades like this, you're going to lose about 80 of them. Maybe 20 will go. And we assume that it could go, right? Because I'm telling you, this is a possible running flat for upset. And there are many reasons why we think that's a running flat. But that running flat could still do this, become an expanding flat, and then go. And that is why I think we'll be looking for this if that happens, right? To the upside, we just will just ignore it. We'll just ignore the trade if we don't get it. There are many other things you can buy or sell. You don't have to trade this one if you don't like the setup for the, if you don't like this particular trade. Euro yen came down. We were looking for the sell. We canceled the sell order. We had a sell order here. We canceled it because of the depth of this move to the upside. And that's why we cancel the order on the punk at also the depth of the move make you cancel the order is no longer valid. They came down and they're going back up. This is a buy set of that could be a contracting flat. This here could be a contracting flat. And this could go right back up. 
So if we get a flag anywhere here today, we'll buy it. And by flag, I mean something like this. We get that, we'll buy. Buy on the breakout, a little risky because it's a contracting flag. New Zealand, yeah. It's coming down, but that's a correction. So you're coming down slowly. Probably get one more up. We can buy this if we get the one more up. It's still going very slow, but this doesn't have to stop. Remember, this is on a daily upside. The only thing we'll be looking for is one of this, one of that sharp wave. So if they come down slowly and they go one more up, we will still get this at some point. All right, that doesn't change. But you can still buy, right? If you get buy setups, you'll buy. If you get sell setups, you'll take it. If there were any sell setups here, we'll take it. I don't see any sell setup, but if we get a sell setup, which means if we get a consolidation like this, we'll sell. We get a consolidation here today and tomorrow. I'm selling. We sold this, remember? We sold this, remember? Those went down, they came back, you closed trades here. Because this, we sell them for the big trade, but it didn't go. So we will sell this, and if it comes here and do this and go, we'll probably sell that. And if it comes here and do this, we figure out the channel and we assume they're going to go up, we'll buy one more. We'll buy here. See? If it drops, that's a trade. You're the trade you're looking for. Swiss yen. Okay, so I, I was in this trade and I put it to break even. I had a, quite a lot of pips, at least when it dropped, when it dropped here. I got in a little earlier. So this one pull back, take me out, break even. No problem. We're looking for the sell again today. You're getting a sell up. It's not dropping the way I expect it to drop, which is the trade is a bigger trade, not 20 pips. Very big drop. If it drops the big drop, that is what I want. If not, then I'll take the break even trade. So today we're looking for a sell again. If this breaks, we look for a sell. We broke the top, so that's good. If it starts to fall, you can put that entry order on there. That is what I would do, not you should do. Sorry. That's what I, I would put an entry order here on right now. What if it goes up back to the top? Well, the only way you can actually trade it if it goes back to the top is let it do this and let it make a flag. And now we said, okay, you know what? I like that trade to the upside. Aussie yen. Once, if you want to buy a yen pair, one second, guys. Give me one second, please. So let me go back one second. I'm not buying the CAD yen. I'm not buying the Euro yen as yet. We might buy the Euro yen, not as yet. I'm not buying the New Zealand yen as yet. I'm not buying the Swiss yen. So what if they all go up? You will say, well, you know, hey, you're missing all those trades. No, I'll buy the Aussie yen. Why? Because I have a buy setup. I have a very clear buy setup, and this is in the upside. You want to say, you want to know since when this is in the upside? Go back and watch somewhere here that is on the 21st of January, somewhere there. I did a webinar on all the Aussie pairs in the daily. Go back and watch it. We told you that it's going to happen. We didn't even tell you. We also show you where you can buy. Remember that buy? Remember this buy? Go for this buy. There was a buy here also. I called it, but for some reason I didn't put it on here. So forget about that. Go for this buy. So if there's a buy in the yen pair, it's on the Aussie. So if they all go up, I will still be in the trade. The only thing is I'll take my money and risk it on this one rather than risk it on the ones that doesn't show me upside. And this upside is not the yen, right? Yen is going down. You all see yen is going down right now, right? This is the Aussie. And Aussie can continue to go because all the Aussie pairs are going up, not just this one. All of them are going up. All of them are going up. All of them are going up. And they all have calls that I'm making. Any flag you get in any one of them, buy Every single day I say to you, if they give you a one hour flag, buy it, right? If you get a one hour flag and you probably will get one here today. This was the only one we didn't call because we expected to make something like this here. It didn't, well, you're getting that here. So this would have called, this was a buy. You could have bought it there, but this is a buy. You're gonna get a buy set up here today for me. It looks like that consolidation is starting. I think it's a big consolidation, not downside. So you see this. They'll probably be do this, and then you get your trade to the upside. So you have a buy here. You have a buy in the Aussie yen. You have a buy in the Aussie Swiss. Also consolidating, you'll get a buy in the Aussie CAD. They're all Aussie pairs. Aussie New Zealand, I said, if you have a lot of 
patience or you would like to test your patience or you would like to train yourself to be patient, you can buy this. You could have bought this from here. But this thing will take a lot of patience for you to stain and for you to keep it and for you not to panic, right? Remember this? I told you this is going to go. This is going and this will continue to go. But likely you're not, if you're like me, you wouldn't trade it. Not that we didn't know it's not going to, and it's likely going to break this top. We told you that because we showed you the bigger structure and we told you where we expect it to go. But you can't trade it. Or not you can't trade it, you shouldn't trade it because it's very, it will make you nervous, right? It takes days and days to give you 10 pips. You will be probably 10 days in it and you're only 10 pips up. So this is where the top is. This is a running flat pattern. What do I mean by that? I mean, this is gonna come somewhere here and then it's gonna drop. And it's gonna drop really hard, right? So you probably would wanna get into the drop if you don't get into the buy. The buy only looks nice, it's going really slow on the one. The drop will have very sharp impulses, correction, sharp impulses. So you will get very good trades, not like this. You can you can try your luck, just buy one small one and leave it for a while. And you will start to panic immediately. Because you buy it and you leave it for a while, you come the next day, you're back at square one, and you're wondering, is it gonna drop now? Right? So you, you can go test it, just back test it. If you had bought what you would do, how long you stayed in this, how long you stayed in all of this, how long this piece took to go. That's how many hours before you get 10 pips, right? So let's say you bought this, very quick lesson. Let's say you bought that. And then you take from here to here to go, how many pips, let's measure it for you. So from this point to this point, that's one day and you're up 43 pips. And then within a couple hours, you're back at probably square one, two pips, right? You're back somewhere here. You see that pullback? This pullback would bring you back right back to this level. So you're about three pips. So you took a day for this and then within the next couple of hours, you're back. What will you do? Keep the trade? Any guru who tell you they bought that and they, they're way at the top, we bought here and we're way at the top here, is not trading. Because if you're trading, you would close that trade. If you're a day trader like us and you're trading here, you would close that trade. If you didn't, then you're setting yourself up for big failures. Euro New Zealand. Okay, so this is going up slowly. You can see the up move going here. There was a buy set up here, it's going slowly, but once it gets to somewhere about here, remember that this one actually was for this one, this drop, right? So once this go up, I think we might drop again. We're looking for the buy setup. We're averaging the buy setup. I don't know if that is the buy setup as yet, if you miss this, this could be the start of the up move, by the way. This here could be the start of the up move. So if you miss this trade, if you miss this buy, wait for another flag and buy. Don't try to buy it here. If it makes another flag, we buy because we're expecting this to go up. I just don't know whether this is the start of the upside as yet. We get another flag, we'll confirm it and we'll buy. That was a buy we missed. It happened at night, we're not there, but the move to the upside is big, right? Remember we showed you this whole thing? And we're expecting this. So if you miss the first flag in here, don't worry, this is the one you want. See that consolidation, that confirms the up move. So what we're looking at right now, if you compare this, let me take a copy and bring it across for you. So you can have an idea what we're looking for. So we're looking for this straight up. Let me take a copy. We're looking for this straight up. That move up, sorry. This is the move we're looking for. So like I said, if you miss anything in here going up, if you miss a little piece of this, wait for this. So anywhere in here, you get a flag, you take a trade, a flag, you take a trade, a flag, then they'll make a bigger correction. Now that confirms the upside. So as of now, you're not confirming anything. It's just going up, you can take small trades. You have small trades, you can take it. There was a one hour trade there and there'll probably be more to come. So we might get another consolidation here, another one hour trade. If this starts to break out and give you a sell setup or it drops like this, give you a flag, sell it for one more downside. One more trade, take profit. Euro Swiss. We might finally get the sell today, right? Euro Swiss has a big move to the downside and you have a sell setup here. So if this breaks, you have a sell setup moving here. 
Watch it. If it comes back to the top, that will negate the cell. If it breaks as it is right now, it's valid. If it goes back here, it will come here, but it will go back up. So this cell is not quite the cell we're looking for. Not that it's not a valid cell, but it's not quite the cell we're looking for. We're looking for the trade to go back to this level. See? We're looking for this trade to come back to this level. See that move down there? And confirm this pattern. And then go up. But what if it is going to go slowly, slowly back to the top here and break this top? It is still upside. It will still have to do this and then go. So if you get a buy setup today, you can take it. If this becomes a buy setup, which means if this goes up a little higher, sorry, if this goes a little higher here, then drop, you get a buy setup. Don't buy it now, wait for the pullback and then buy. If it is going to drop totally from where it is, we will sell. Because remember, there's a bigger move to the downside. So you can put a sell entry order. And if it goes, good for you. If it doesn't go, you could climb up more, you cancel the order. Your OS, you're getting sell setups and I think it's gonna go down more. It will probably consolidate here for a while more. I don't see this dropping, they will stay there for a while more, but after that consolidation, we're going down. Your cat. Okay, let's see what this is in the big picture. Look for a buy setup. Wait for the breakup. Wait for the flag. Look for the buy setup back to this level, at least back to that level. Right? And then we will see if they come make a new low or if they continue to go. The bigger picture is this one. See this? So you can take the break of this. If we get a good setup on the break, it would either do this, make a flat here, and come one more down or it is just gonna to continue to go up. So the buy setup here is not a bad idea, right? Even for this flat, it's not a bad idea, but to make the top, to break this top, it's a very good idea. And then you look for this, because that will complete one, two, three. And you've seen these patterns before. So it's a buy setup we're looking for. I think we might get it here. We have a buy setup right now forming. If this breaks out, you have a buy setup. So yesterday didn't give you a buy setup because they just give you one pullback. But even if you take an entry order somewhere here or somewhere here, you probably get it break even. But this is the one. This is the perfect one. You want this to come a little here and then go. That is a trade. Actually, I like this trade. So my traders will put this on. The, we'll put that in the trading room immediately. Once we finish here, we're putting on that entry order. Europa, we're also looking for an upside, but right now it's downside. Yesterday we looked at this, it's not going as yet. You have more downside, you have more consolidation. And this is just gonna drop here, ignore that cell. You see they're doing this now. When they start a channel like this, they eventually go back up. We follow these channels with a trend, with, a, with an entry order to buy. So let's leave it there. Pongos. Pongos is going back up. There's a good chance you might even go back way back to the top. Take this off. Let's see if we have a buy setup. Yep, you have a buy setup here. There's a very good chance this could go back way back to the top. It might just be a correction. This might just be a correction here. Kind of go here and come back, but I want a bigger flag than that, bigger flag than that. So let this go, break out of this entire structure here. See that curve there? Break out, make a flag, and then we'll buy. Because I would not buy just for a correction here. I'll buy if they're coming back to the top here, right? If this whole structure is going back up to the top, if this is going back here, break out or come back here and go again, then this trade you want. But then you want to see a flag here, right? You want to see something like this. You want to see something like this. See that? We don't have that. Once we get that, it will be a buy. It's giving you a very small one here, pretty risky. If you have the skill levels, you can try it, but the risk of this is, let me show you, it's gonna probably do this and then come back down and you will go for a running flat there. See that? If you see that risk, then you know how to manage it. Pound New Zealand, upside. 
uh, no, we're still gonna go down. It's just correcting more to the upside. Let's see this. This is just correcting more there. I still think we're gonna drop. We're still in this pattern, right? So even if this is trying to go up here, you don't have a buy setup and by the time you get a buy setup, it will make a new high and then drop. So I don't think the buy on this one is a good one. If you have to buy anything, don't buy this. Let it go, buy as something else. There are many, many better setup than this to buy yourself, right? All you're doing is saying, look, this pattern is incomplete. This pattern is a downside. It could probably go up one more. The risk to reward is no good. The structure is telling me not to buy it. What if it goes? What do you care? You can invest in another pound pair that says go up, and that is the pound Swiss. See? You can invest in this. You can say, okay, let's go buy the pound Swiss because the pound Swiss is conforming upside rather than go buy something that has no proof of upside. This one has a flag here, but you, you've got this, and I don't see anything to go with it. So the likelihood is you do this. You'll get a running flat here and then upside. So the buy here is not a bad idea if it becomes a longer drawn out, drawn out running flat. If you want to buy this, it's not a bad idea, but be weird that it could do this, it could do this and then go, which will give you a flat here. See, but it's a buy setup. If you want to buy, buy this one. I've been telling you that every day for the last couple of weeks, right? Once we had this pattern, we're showing you that this is a buy. So if you want to buy any punk pair, buy the punk Swiss. Ignore the rest of the punk pairs. Punk New Zealand, let's see if we get a sell. If we get a sell, we'll sell this. Punk Yen. If I get a sell, I'll sell this. Right now, it's looking like a big flat here. See this? That looks like a big flat for one more up. And you're probably getting one more up here. Here's the problem with this. This might just break the top and come back. Right? I just I can show you one of that I just showed you on a yen pair today. We showed you it yesterday, and we told you why we didn't buy it. Swiss yen. No, nope, not Swiss. I think it was the Cadian. Cadian, sorry. Yeah, this piece. This. See, you had this, and look where the flat is. They go up and they drop. So let me go back and show you in the Pongian. You've got this move down. See this? One, two, three. And you're getting a flat here. It's going to do this and then do that. Very likely. So if you have to buy, would you buy the Pongian or would you buy the Swiss Yen? Or the pound Swiss, or buy another yen pair. If there's a buy set, buy the Aussie. If this is going to go because of the yen, buy the Aussie yen. If it is going because of the pound, buy the pound Swiss. You don't have to buy this, right? Because this is the more risky trade than the other two. The other two are perfect trade setups. If everything goes, if you're going to win one of those trades, it's going to be one of the other two, not this one. So you can go buy it just to prove a point to yourself, but then you will learn a lesson. Pong New Zealand, we're looking for the sell. Let's go Pong Oz. I skipped the Pong Oz. No, Pong Oz is a sell too. Pong Cat, let's look at Pong Cat. So Pong Cat is the day of the trade I posted, uh, the day of the, the trade of the day that I posted. And I, it's still a very valid trade. That has not lost anything. It didn't go anywhere, right? So if you're following that trade, follow this pattern. What we're looking for is a perfect entry from the top. Now, do we know that is the top? I don't know that. It could still make a new high. It could pull back. It could make a new high. It could pull back. It could make a new high. It could pull back. It could make a new high. It's going to do this. And this is the trade you want. That is the trade we're trading for. Right? If they break this top, that's a running flat, but it's going to come back down. So although it looks like yesterday, oh, well, that one didn't go. What is he saying? It's a trade of the day. Well, it's a very big trade and a very good trade. And you want to keep your eyes on it, right? So I don't think this is going to break out. I think this might work its way here and then go. All right, we need a little more down and then we need that trade up. Can we buy this if it comes lower? If it comes lower, it might be a good buy. Very short term. It goes, break the top, take the profit, right? because it's a short-term trade, eventually that structure falls. So if you want to buy it, great, there'll be a buy set up here today. I think you want it to come lower before you buy. Pong Swiss, we already did this, you can buy this. Uh, New Zealand Swiss, you're getting a consolidation for a buy. So you're looking at this structure. 
And once they break out, we realize this was the running flag. So once they break out, you wait for a flag and you buy. So we broke out of the structure. Okay, let's get the flag. They didn't come lower, they break out. So once they break out, you wait for the flag. You're getting a flag there now. You're getting more than the flag. You're getting a nice correction. And that's upside. That's a buy setup. See? New Zealand CAD, you're pulling back. It's most likely for a buy as well. All right, so let's see if we get a buy or a sell here. It could come deeper. So if they're going to go deeper, you wait for a sell setup here for the, you know, the deeper trade. But most likely, I think even if they do this, they're going to go up. It's more of an upside for now. Cat Swiss, we have a good sell setup coming. I sold this on a lower time frame here yesterday and closed the trade. I'm looking at this and I'm looking for a sell setup. Why is this sell very important? This is what you have, and I think we could get a drop back to the low here. Maybe a correction and then another drop. You get one drop, you get a correction, and then you get another drop. So there's a good chance you get this, you get a correction, and then you get that. See? So take this off. I like that trade, and I like the sell setup from the top there. This could be one I might post today as a trade of the day. I like this, actually. I might post it. It goes very slow, though. I'll be honest with you, this thing could either fall really fast or most times they just go very, very, very slow like this. Now, because that is an impulse to the downside, I'll make an assumption it's gonna go very fast. So what would negate the sell in this trade? Again, just like the pump cat, if they go higher like this, we cancel the sell, we wait for it to come here and then look for one more up. Let's go. Silver, okay, sorry. Um, Copper, I said silver, right? You're getting a flat for a buy. Take off the sell, look for the buy. What you want is for this to come back here and then look for a buy setup. This is another up trade. All right, that's a consolidation. It's gonna come down here a little and then you're looking for the trade to the upside. You've got a number of buys here already, right? You got this buy, you got this buy, you got that buy. And if you remember clearly, you're supposed to get this buy this first one here, right? Now you're getting this one. That's a buy setup. Oil didn't break out. Like I said, if you buy here, you will get yourself in trouble. My traders look at it, but when they consolidate there, you really don't want to buy here because it could stop anywhere. Now that they break the top, wait for this to pull back. And now you buy. This would be a good buy here. That would confirm the running flag pattern. So you didn't have to buy here. You can wait for this buy because that buy is confirming they're gonna go back up. Right. And the same here. Goes there, wait for a pullback to confirm the running flat. And then that's a buy. Once you confirm the running flat. Natural gas. A little more down. I think we're going to get more down here. See, they're breaking this. So we're going to get this, and that might be a running flat. So you probably get one more up. But you can sell. You can take very short term trades if you want. Because we probably go down some more like this. So look for short term trades. Okay, I hope you sold this. All right, because remember we call this a sell and we show you this possibility that it's going to come down or this possibility here for that to come down, whichever one. You get another consolidation sell. This one didn't go. This one actually went up a little more. So let's see. You didn't have a buy setup and I don't think you have a buy setup as yet. If this breaks out here, you're getting a flag here. See this? If that breaks out, that could be a trade. So if it breaks out, go for the trade. S&P 500, you're consolidating. So that's a sell setup. DAX, that's most likely a buy, right? If you took that buy, you got break even, it's making a bigger flat here. And one more up. A200, 
if you sold that, I hope you close it. You had a lot of time to close it. Take off that, close the trade. It's not going anywhere. Let's see this. Not really going anywhere. So it still looks like a sell for now, right? Nifty. Nifty is coming down short, but they've came, they've come down like that previously already. So watch for the buy setup, right? The only time you'll consider a sell on the Nifty is if this stays here for a while, then we'll sell it. But every time they do this, they tend to go back up. Look for your buy setups. Tesla. Okay, Tesla just going in a much deeper correction, not expected, didn't anticipate. I thought it will go sideways here and then go, but they're going deeper. So let's wait and see. How deep can this go? Let's look at the daily. Well, they can go pretty deep, right? We've seen deep corrections in here. This one is not that deep. This one is not that deep, this piece. But this looks like it can go deep. So you may want to look, start to look for cell setups. Take the cells, but be careful because now it looks like they're going to go much deeper. So if you're taking any cell, just be very careful. Amazon coming down and I'm keeping these arrows to show you, right? So once we broke that top, you're expecting this move down. So now we might be getting that move, right? It could still be this one, just to remind you. But we, we are not, I'm not counting on that one. So we will know what this one is. You're getting a sell set up here again. If we break this low and break this low and then go to this low. So if we break through those three, then we will assume that the pattern is completing itself. We will go for this one. We will go for one. Two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So there's a cell set up there and then upside. SLR, it's consolidating, you're going to get more cells. EA Finance, you're getting, a, you're getting a correction here, so that's a cell set up. You're getting correction for a cell setup. Let's go. What is Reliance? Reliance, we looked at this morning. Somebody trading, trading, look for a cell setup. Bitcoin. Some of you are going to learn a lesson. And I hope you're learning it already. All right? Somebody said it's going to how much? One, how much? 100,000. Every time you hear people start to talk about this thing going to heaven, you have to be careful. So what we're getting is a deep correction. Do we have divergence here? Let's see. No divergence on the daily. No divergence on the four hour. It's probably just a deep correction, then more upside. So be careful, watch the corrections. Right now you don't have a trade. You will get a trade if you get a flag here for a sell. For the upside, that's a big risk because you have this, you have this, you can go there and then drop again. So the longer trade could be for the sell if you get a flag. XRP coming down, and I think they will break down. I'm expecting them to come back to about the 17. We spoke about that, expected. This could probably just drop to about here and go back up. I think that is rare. Most times it will come lower like that and then go back up. ETH, so you've got to break out finally. Let's see. I hope you got the trade. If you were, you know, if you were looking for the trade, this would have been a sell. And you're lucky there; it breaks out. So wait for a flag and sell. Okay, we might be getting this one finally. Remember, I said you always get these, right? When this one is going up, you might be getting that, and then you can get this trade for upside. So there might be some more downside there to go. And then that's it. So you can get a sell and then look for buys. So, okay, guys, I think we've completed everything. We've made it in an hour. I'll try to make them shorter from next week.
This week is the last week where you get a daily webinar. So free after that, you're going to have weekly webinars, three webinars for the week, and you're going to continue to have a chart of the day. Keep watching them. If they don't go the same day, they'll go eventually. Most of them will be longer term trades, not the very short term trades. We took about four short term trades yesterday, but I don't post them here, right? And not gonna be YouTube. I will figure out something to work with so that you get the notification. We'll check YouTube today. If we can't set notification for you, we'll figure out something. Somebody's asking me to go on um, Telegram and create a group. Look, I am running one group that is keeping me busy already. There are 500 traders in there. We have about five, six sessions a day. Remember when, when I started the webinar, you saw this? which you're not supposed to see. It has not this one. We're looking at the home page, general page. You should be seeing this. These are how much hours we are in the room. These are the hours of the day. We're setting them to be timetable now when we're gonna be in the room. So I don't have enough time to go run another group. I'm very sorry about that. Here is the deal, you can join us. If you're a trader and you can make $200 a month, you can join us. If you have a $5,000 account, you can make $200 a month. That's not a big deal. You can join us. You're going to get all my free daily webinars. You're going to get notification. You're going to get all kinds of stuff there, right? Because you're going to get the, 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 the setups as well. And you, you know, you learn to trade. I think you have an advantage if you can get these daily webinars. At least they will show you one angle. And if you have a different view, you can you know look at both and make your decision. I know I'm saying this at the end of the video, but I don't like to do all these things at the start of the video because not everybody wants to hear this. Not everybody wants to hear the truth. So I hope you make it to the end of the video and you're listening to this. Thank you. Thank you for listening. And I will see all of you later. See you tomorrow. I'll see my traders right now. Take care. Thank you. Trader care. Bye-bye.